In this topic on incomplete records, you're often asked to prepare an income statement and a balance sheet without some key figures such as sales, purchases and beginning capital. Uh, soon I'll get you to flick onto the next slide which uh, is a resource taken out of your workbook and um, we will, I'll explain how to calculate sales, purchases and some other key information using that resource. Always look for uh, information that is taken out of a cash book as in uh, this part of the resource that I've numbered, uh, number one, um, it's uh, information ta uh, taken out of the cash book that's got um, on the left hand side, on this side here, um, money coming in or receipts and um, on this side here is um, the money going out or payments and um, then you have some ad other additional information here uh, that I've numbered too. Um, this often has an, um, some sort of impact on your calculations, um, sometimes not majorly. And um, the section of number three um, is the uh, past or last year's and this year's figures. So. This one, this here on the left is uh, last year's figures, and on the right will be this year's figures. And you'll see in this list there are assets and liabilities for both years. This allows you to find, um, um, well, it allows you to prepare the balance sheet, and it also allows you to calculate the capital at the beginning using last year's figures, using these figures here. And um, so um, on the next slide I am going to uh, show you how to calculate the missing sales figure and um, then the missing purchases figure which will enable you to do an income statement and then for the balance sheet I will show you how to calculate the um, missing opening capital figure so that you can then prepare the uh, equity section of the balance sheet. In order to find the missing sales, we will use uh, trade receivable from last year, which is this figure here, and trade receivable from this year, uh, that figure there. And um, we'll also need the receipts from debtors figure up here. And uh, that'll enable us to find a large part of the missing sales. In fact, it'll enable us to find the total credit sales. Uh, which is sometimes the total sales. It, it depends on whether any cash sales were made. So um, I would suggest you prepare a T-REC account, trade receivable account. You may call it a debtor's account, uh, a um, trade receivable control account, a sales ledger control account, which you've been taught before. But irris uh, irrespective, uh, it's an asset account with the opening balance on this side being 9031 and the closing balance on the credit side being 8624. And um, the, this figure here will appear on the credit side of this account as um, it appears on the debit side of the cash books. It's got to be on the credit side here. And the other reason for that, as you should know, um, when money is received from uh, debtors or trade receivables, the trade receivable decreases, so the asset is decreasing, hence the credit entry. So 37, we can call that bank, and the figure on the credit, credit side will be 37936. So the uh, missing sales figure will be uh, the, the the difference which appears on the debit side here but nevertheless so we'll add add up the credit side and uh, of 37936 plus 8624 less 9031 will give you your answer that goes there so let's have a look at the next slide well now we can um, find the missing sales with the information I've described in, on the previous slide 
and uh, by adding the two figures on the credit side and subtracting the 9031 the debit uh, the debit figure we arrive at a sales figure of 37529 Now, incidentally, that is only our credit sales uh, because this being a trade receivable account, um, the 37529 is a large part of your sales that's going to go in the income statement. But to get the correct sales to, uh, that goes in the income statement, we also have to add on any cash sales. And if you look at this paragraph here that are number two earlier on it says all the business takings have been paid into the bank with the exception of 9630 and um, which means the 9630 that was not uh, deposited into the bank um, would have been uh, cash that um, came from customers because we have no other information so it's a very safe assumption that that cash of 9630 was received by the business and because it wasn't deposited into the bank um, you can safely assume that that's your uh, cash sales so total sales then will be 37529 plus the 9630 so that figure of um, 47159 will be what you will show as sales revenue on the income statement. And in an exam, because of the effort that it took to find that figure, you will pick up quite a large number of marks, possibly three uh, marks more or less. And um, on the next slide, I will show you how to find the missing purchases. And once we've got that, um, with the with the opening inventory figure that's already given, that's the opening inventory figure up there, there, uh, we'll be able to find the gross profit. Because for gross profit, all we need is sales less cost of sales. As you know, cost of sales is made up of opening inventory plus purchases less closing inventory.